And once again, just wanted to go ahead and share this uh, alerts, quick alerts, how to set your alerts here on uh, Think or Swim. I actually just learned this today, how to set a persistent alert. I've been looking for this for a while, but uh, when I click on, on the drawing, sorry, I was just getting the alert there. Uh, once it goes down, when you click on the drawing, it actually doesn't give me the full uh, options available when it comes to creating alerts. So I'm actually not getting all of the options available when you just click on the chart. So as you can see here, it just gives me this and it lets me edit the sound. So as you saw there, I added my sounds uh, to my custom sounds because I want to hear something different so that I know exactly what is making what sound. So I changed my alerts to depending on what it is. So for uh, setting these alerts, I want them to be persistent. I want to hear every time that the tick hits the 500 or the minus 500 or the minus 1000. So you can just click on the chart, right click, and then select create alert. And then to keep it as a persistent alert, so I don't, you don't have to keep setting it up. If you want to do that, I wanted to do that because I do want to hear how many times it hits it throughout a day. Uh, you can just create regular alert down here and it'll actually keep it there. And then all the only thing you'll have to do is just set it at the price level that you want it to be. So you'll go ahead and change this number. You'll go ahead and change this. So minus 500, minus 1,000, uh, and it'll go ahead and set that for you at that price level. Since I already have them, I'm not going to create it. And then you can go ahead and change your sound uh, to whatever sound you want. Obviously, it gives you the default sounds that are available on the platform. I changed mine to uh, these WAV files uh, so that I can, uh, my own custom WAV files, so that I know, hey, this is uh, an alert on the tick. You know, this is an alert for my stops. So for my stops, I use... Uh, I use this one here so that I know, hey man, you're getting uh, stopped out here. Okay, and then uh, that's pretty much what I do here. And then you can just add your own custom uh, wave file so that you get that. But well, that's pretty much it guys for setting these alerts uh, to be persistent and regular alerts. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.